I have always viewed death as part of the continuum of life. Make no assumptions as to your lifespan. Death is uncertain. Timing is uncertain. This is a way of bringing these topics that for so many people live under the rug, out from under the rug and into the open, and can serve as a stimulus, a tool to open conversations and discussions so that hearing somebody else say, I was afraid to talk to my spouse or my children about death and dying, somehow mutes the fear. Helping people uh, think about, formulate, and communicate uh, their wishes uh, as they're dying and uh, how they want to die is, uh, in my mind, a critical part of uh, the pastoral obligation of uh, a Jewish community such as the synagogue. It is, to me, a gift. A gift that we give ourselves, but more importantly, a gift to our families. I remember talking to my kids when they were quite young, exploring my feelings, sharing them, making them known. It's not an easy conversation. Come, let's have dinner, and we'll talk about how I want to die. I don't know. I think I have plans that night. I can't make it. To me, it's great satisfaction in having things in place. The human nature is we always remember the last. We remember how people die. So that, that transition should be as positive and as respectful and as um, careful as possible. The experience really stimulated me to think more specifically, more clearly, what did I want, what I would like, should I get ill when I die? And so I organized so that, in a sense, a bridge has already been established so that it may be that much easier and for them to discuss it with their children. Lador Vador.